Hey everyone, hope you all doing great. I know after so long I am here. Due to COVID or lockdown, I was not able to make videos. Before starting today's topic, I want to say please be careful. Sanitize your hand, wash your hand, wear gloves and mask. And be careful for yourself. So today's topic is suturing material and technique. What is suture? A suture is a strand or thread of material used to approximate tissue and also to ligate blood vessel. The purpose of suturing is the purpose of suturing is to suture is the act of swing or bringing the tissue or flap edges together and holding them in a position until the normal healing take place. Or Suture also help the wound to withstand the normal functional stress and to resist wound reopening. Since the normal healing of the wound tissue takes around 5 to 7 days after injury, the tissue are approximated till this period retaining the suture. Suture maintain hemostasis and provide adequate tension and support for the tissue margin. What do you understand by hemostasis? Hemostasis here refer to plug formation or platelet aggregation. Generally, we classify suture material as natural synthetic metallic and uh, first of all absorbable and non-absorbable. What are absorbable suture? All suture material that are digested by the body enzyme or hydroly hydrolyzed by the tissue fluid are absorbable. These undergo degradation and lose their tensile strength within 60 days. And non-absorbable, the suture that cannot be digested by the tissue enzyme and are encapsulated or walled off are non-absorbable. The non-absorbable non suture material are further classified into natural, metallic and synthetic. They are also classified as monofilament or multifilament. The monofilament type, it is made up of single strand, resist harboring, microorganism and ties smoothly. It is to be handled delicately without any damage to the strands to avoid breakage post-operatively. -op what is the advantage of monofilament? A smooth surface, so less tissue trauma and no bacterial harbor, harbor and no capillary is seen. Capillarity is seen. Okay. Disadvantage: careful handling without stretching, any neck or crimp lead to the breakage. What is multifilament type? It consists of several filament twisted or braided together into single stand. Advantage. This give good handling and tying characteristic, good strength and soft and pliable material. What is the disadvantage? As this type of the suture can harbor bacteria, it is not suitable in the presence of contamination and infection. What do you understand by tensile strength of a suture material? The amount of tension or pull the suture material can withstand without breaking is important. It depends upon the diameter of the suture. If the diameter is... Okay. Now, uh, we are going to see some suture material or... Uh, suturing needle or thread, etc. So, here is the thread. This is suturing thread I have so here is the thread the digit written here is a 3 o or you can say 3 0 uh, this digit refer the diameter of the thread as the digit increases the diameter of the thread decreases so the prefix number is inversely proportional to the diameter if the digit is 4 o it means the diameter decreases or less than 3 o okay this is scissor or this is needle holder 
how to work with the needle so here is the eye needle eye this is the point needle point or tip this is the eye of the needle and this is the hole from hole length from eye of the needle to the point of the needle is the cord length so now you can see it into the picture So the principle of suturing is the needle should be grasped at approximately one third of the eye and two third from the point. So here is the eye and this is approximately one third distance of the eye. Okay. The two third distance from the tip and one third distance from the eye. How to hold the needle holder? The thumb is in one ring and uh, the ring finger is in another or uh, the index finger at this place approximately. You must hold it like this. Okay. The second step is the needle should enter the tissue perpendicular to the tissue surface. Tissue, tissue surface ke perpendicular okay the needle should be passed through the tissue along its curve the needle should pass through the tissue along its curve okay the suture should be passed at an equal depth distance and by from the incision on both sides Um, so and uh, the next principle is the needle always passes from the movable tissue to the fixed tissue okay the needle always passes through the thinner tissue to the thicker tissue that means thinner portion to thicker portion so it's all for today in next video we are going to learn the types of suture and suturing technique so if you really like the video please subscribe and share and don't forget to press the bell icon for the notification of the next video thank you